Hi, I'm Arman. We want to know how you can make the text on the card or any surface to shine like this or any different type without using masks or cutting the background. So this way you can use dynamic text from Game Engine. Just make sure to replace this image with any generated text from Game Engine. Okay. Now let me break down what we use actually. We have two sequences, two slots are duplicated. One is uh, colored black. The other one is just simple white, but uses additive blending. So one goes over the other and they both cancel each other actually. So at the end, we have the same image as here, but in a sequence. Let me move these frames here so you can see. This is what we have. And this is actually the initial image, uh, in image sequence as we have. Let me convert to normal so you can see. This is pretty much the same. So, but we need to make two, one, two of them so we can sandwich the text between. That way we can make them to cancel each other, but the text layer. So text layer will continue to glow, glow or shine, but everything else will remain as, as they are. Now let me revert the things so you once again can see the effect. And now I will make it from scratch. I will delete these two mm. slots. So just to make sure we have two images, two meshes. Let's drag the sequence, the first frame, convert it to sequence, remove the index and make sure to add it here. The 17 should correspond to the count of the images you have in directory for that sequence. Hit enter so you can see everything turns to green. That means we are loading them properly. Now what we have here, let's animate it. I will click a loop, hit to 30 FPS, make sure that it's starting from first frame. And I know that it's 17 frames, so I will go to here and hit Control Shift L, so it adds a key. And we have the sequence. This sequence you can produce from any actually sequence. Right now I'm using this one. But honestly, you can use any sequence you can find, whichever works for you. So they are just revealing sequence. They don't uh, do the effect. So if you use the smoke, you will need to cut out from the background in Photoshop as we have it here. So we just need uh, the, the sequence will work just as a mask. Okay, now let's um, move it. Let's actually convert it to mesh and move it to proper position. For that, let's change the frame and make sure we position it nicely. Great, so we have it. That means that now we will see portion of text disappearing because we have that sequence covering it which is not something we want to see. What we want to see is actually shining it. So for that, I will come here, um, rename this. Let's rename it to over and duplicate this and rename this to below or under, whatever works for you. So now the trick is that under should be black and over should be white as by default, but using additive. So this means that any pixels that contain over a slot, the attachment, will be added to this background, the, the, the below uh, attachment, which is all black. So at the end, we will end up with the same pixels as in original sequence. Now let's convert it to additive and see the ordering. So under should go below text and over should go over the text. Anything you put between will be highlighted. So there can be multiple slots, multiple layers of text or UI 
anything you want, buttons, whatever. So what's important is that this text can be loaded from game engine. You can write the text, convert it to bitmap, uh, replace in texture, atlas, or just repack the skin, whatever works for you. Just make sure that this image gets replaced in the atlas that, get, uh, that fits the spine. So that's it. It's pretty simple. I just made sure that I explained everything very clear. So again, this shining effect can be whatever you want from here. Anything can work. Right now I will show you the other project. The same approach works for here. You can see we have a blue background and the sequence is exactly the same color and it just reveals the cat or any character nicely. Again, we don't use any masks here. And this is the effect. And this is the black effect. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Also special thanks to those fantastic people. They are the reason I actually uh, made this video today and not two weeks later. And as you can see, I opened up Patreon page. So maybe it's more comfortable for you. See you in the next. Bye.